Hey, what's happening, plant people? Today we are talking about a bunch of plants, mainly plants that you've seen of mine in the past, and we have a special, another special occasion via Costa Farms. I now have a yet again a new Christmas present, Costa Farms. First plant from Costa Farms. Just take me out the box. Hi, I'm new. Well, let me start from the beginning. Basically, they're saying hi. This is like a nice little presentation here. Added a little touch to it. That's a nice touch. I dig that. <laughs> so what it's saying is uh, how to take it out the box, sensitive to hot and cold temperatures, uh, or rough ride. Take a photo or share it immediately at cost of questions at cost of forms. Submitting your view, I guess if things get jacked up. So hopefully we can get jacked up and transport to the Gerard Horticulture Garden uh, and crew. So you want to slice it very carefully up top, cutting away times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The darkness. The darkness. Yeah, so you would definitely have to see we're pretty much good up top box is pretty you know it's pretty heavy actually so it might be potted I guess dig down vision gets you the aerial view and I feel some dirt and basically that's what they tell you you just gotta pull up so I'm pulling all up matter of fact I don't think I'm gonna pull up maybe I can save the box Oh yeah, we're pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. There must be dirt in there. Jeez. Cool box. Pretty cool. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm not mistaken, I'll put the price of, that I got it for, and you can check it out right now. Um, so go to Amazon, check them out. Why not? They're not crazy, ridiculously priced. But, you know, most of the going rare plants. Matter of fact, we want to slice this open. I'm going to slice away. Release, still releasing. Spinning to release. Getting there, rising to the top. Oh, it comes with a nice vase too. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about the ugly. What about the ugly? The nursery pots. It's all ready to go. How about that? How about that? Ready to go. Ready to show. Got that black on white, that interracial. Uh, <laughs> that interracial, let me take that back. But it's, you know, it's a good contrast, I believe, you know. Um, and, you know, they did a good job. They really did a good job. Cost the farm, salute. Um, we got the little stick in here to protect from any type of impact to get added protection. You don't have to buy a pot, she's already potted up. Don't search for any pests or anything like that. This is live, we don't wanna make sure that she is uh, quarantined, I guess, but I'm gonna let her in population right now because we got the, um, if, you, uh, if you ever get, well, you're gonna, most likely, it's gonna happen, I'm not gonna say, not gonna happen but if it does 
added protection. You can slice this up as you see the grid zone there. This is fly paper for fruit, fungus gnats, white flies, aphids. It works. I think I got like one on there right now as I saw since since like two weeks ago. And I'm just letting it just stay there. You know, it's a form of victory. He's just been there just chilling. Um, just to uh, let everybody know that, you know, they're not welcome here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's easy plant on deck with the collection. You're gonna see many photos on Instagram. And I mean, I like the pot. I do like the pot. I guess we can definitely see if Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what you call it? Mo a money pot, whatever you let the pot sit in there. So, oh, let's see something. You're actually gonna probably take this outside. I actually saw something in there. So we're gonna take this outside right now. <laughs> it happened. Um, I had to uh, just take the raven outside because um, I had to do the video for you guys to show the what's going on and um, I didn't see anything on the leaves but I was looking in the dirt and I saw something kind of flicker and it bounced so um, I don't think it came from Costa Farms I'm not saying it did I'm not saying it you know so we're just gonna leave it outside for right now. But I'm super happy I got it. That's why you definitely have to check your plants when you get them from a nursery, online, on um, a plant swap, whatever. Um, doesn't matter, just you don't want that extra stuff and then if you catch it early, you know, you should be good. But uh, the ZZ plants outside, I wanted to talk about also this 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 leopard plant. I, I know I did an unboxing about it, but uh, this particular plant collects a ton of dust. Now, I have to like, I guess it's magnetic charge, because if uh, things collect dust, you know, easily, and this is like by far, like no other plant collects dust, like this plant collects dust. I don't know what you guys think about that. I don't know if the plants are like charging, you see all the dust just flying around and like the leaves. The dust is everywhere. Um, I don't believe it has to grow anything. Uh, and I, I guess you can kind of say my house is dusty. But every house is gonna accumulate a certain amount of dust. And I do have a filter, but I'm just noticing how much dust this plant collects and even here I don't know if that's like the film of it or something does it grow that let me know I'm just gonna leave it cuz you this is a new sprout and I'm like how did that get dusty so it might be growing something and I might be screwing it up so hopefully this is a learning process let me know if that fuzz is supposed to be there cuz I do see dust on certain leaves but not all leaves And this plant takes a lot of water. Um, and you will notice because the leaves will just droop, droop, very droop like a uh, pothos. But I actually keep this in my bedroom by me uh, because it's a low light plant and the moisture requirement is pretty much up there. So I decided to take it to my section of my room and planted it there. Yeah, so that plant is uh, some type of electrically charged plant that collects a ton of dust. It's, I can actually put it outside, it's hardy to zone B and A, and it's, I can put it outside if I want to, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, if you got any comments about that plant, let me know in the comment section below. Um, what do you think about the unboxing? I, I don't know if that fly was coming from 
across the farm. I'm not sure, but we did uh, um, spray some neem oil on the dirt and on the plant just to make sure we're getting any immersion. I'm gonna definitely want to keep an eye on it and keep it in a uh, good location. Want to just make sure that that plant is uh, <clears throat> pest free. And folks, don't forget to check out my Instagram page at Gerard's underscore horticulture underscore culture. And some people can't say Gerard's horticulture culture, just say GHC, not like THC, but GHC, if that makes you feel better. Um, Cause I get a lot of people saying Gerard's horticulture culture. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. It's horticulture culture. Sorry if it was too long for you. But anyway, uh, Keep growing.